Robin Carlin at the Denver Post Sports Desk. Well, it's official, folks. Peyton Manning will meet with the press this morning at 11 to announce his retirement. During his four years in Denver, Manning helped the Broncos to the most wins, 55, and the highest winning percentage of any team in the NFL. As a Bronco, Manning set NFL single season records for touchdown passes and passing yards, all while leading the highest scoring offense in NFL history. No other player threw more touchdowns in the regular season and playoffs combined from 2012 to 2015. Number 18 was also the first quarterback in team history to be a part of four consecutive AFC West titles. I could go on and on here about all of Manning's accomplishments, both on and off the field, but perhaps John Elway said it best when he said, quote, Peyton was everything that we thought he was and even more, not only for the football team, but in the community. While all the buzz this week will be around Peyton Manning, there's plenty of other news on the local sports scene. The Nuggets rallied to defeat the Dallas Mavericks in overtime, 116 to 114 on Sunday. It was a well-rounded effort from Denver, who got double-doubles from Kenneth Fareed and Nikola Jokic, 20 points from Will Barton, and 16 points and 8 assists from Emmanuel Moutier. But it was newly acquired DJ Augustine who hit the biggest shots, including a three-pointer to send the game into overtime and the free throws that gave the Nuggets the win. Next up, the Nuggets host Carmelo Anthony and the Knicks on Tuesday. Continuing with the hardwood, the CU Buffs let one slip against number 13 ranked Utah 57 to 55 on Saturday night. With eight minutes to go, Tad Bull's team slowly and painfully said goodbye to a double digit lead on the road, missing their chance to set the program record for most regular season wins. The Buffs turn their attention to the Pac-12 tournament Well, they'll be seated at number five, but now there's the possibility that that Utah loss will affect their chance to dance. The Rapids lost their season opener to the San Jose Earthquakes on Sunday on the road. After a scoreless first half, the Earthquakes scored almost immediately after intermission. 1-0 was your final. The Rapids play their home opener this Saturday against the LA Galaxy. On the ice, the Avs host the Arizona Coyotes tonight. Puck drops at 7 o'clock. And down in the desert, the Rockies play the Cubs today. First pitch at 110. Already some bad news for the Rocks pitching staff. Just four games in a spring training. Reliever Gyro Diaz will need Tommy John surgery after injuring his elbow in Saturday's win over the Padres. And that'll do it for him this season. You're up to date, sports fans. I'm Robin Carlin with some of our top stories from DPTV.